Hey everybody, so today I'm doing a get ready with me style tutorial. It's more a makeup tutorial, but you're going to be getting ready with me too, obviously. So yes, I already have my face done because that was, that's not the point of this. The main focus is the eyes. I did this look a few days ago and um, just because I wanted to get ready. I may have filmed a video that day. I think I did. But I wanted to get ready. And this is the look that I did. And I was in love all day long. I was like, oh my goodness. Everything just looks so perfect. Like, it's exactly what the title says. It's simple and easy and natural yet defined and just gorgeous. So, quickly on my face. I did all my priming stuff, Hourglass Mineral Veil. I did the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer on my eyes already. Uh, Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. I can, yeah, Light Sand. I never remember the name, whatever. I used my, this was actually different today. I used the Maybelline Concealer. I think it's the Fit Me in Light. And honestly, this is a little bit dark and a little bit orangey and tan for me. But I kind of used it here where I needed just a little bit more coverage, like on the sides of my nose and chin. And while it is a little bit dark and you may be able to see it, I think for the summer you can pull it off more. And then I used my Real Techniques, uh, what is this, buffing brush like normal. But I think you can get away with it. I think it adds a little bit of bronze kind of where you need it. So, I don't know, like I think you can tell that it's a little bit darker in these areas, but I like it and I think it works. And then I used my Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch in Ivory like always. And this is what I'm going to start out with for the eyes because I want my eyes to be super bright so I'm needing to cancel out everything. So, I'll zoom you in. Oh, but first I do want to powder my face because if you can tell it's... I don't know how well you can actually tell. Yeah, I think you can see. It's fairly, I mean, it's a fairly natural finish, but it is a little bit more glowy, and I want to add the glow instead of having too much all over. So I'm just going to use the Rimmel Stay Matte and some powder and just kind of press that in. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to start off with the concealer. I'm going to bring my mirror close. Hopefully it doesn't show. But I just want to put a touch on the lids. Usually I would do this when I was doing foundation, and I probably should have done this before I powdered. Wow, I was about to jab that in my eye. That's really smart. And then I'm just going to lightly blend this out. Ooh, I need to... I've got some creasing on my eyes already. Or under eyes, because I like to take my concealer right up to my eyes. Um, but hopefully you can see that that just brightens it up a little bit more. We're going to be using the Lorac palettes. I love these, mostly the second one, but I'm going to pull from the first for a shade. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a fluffy brush and the color light brown. This is a super, super easy, all matte eye look, and I'm just going to take a little bit of that um, and just run that through the crease. Nothing too precise. I just want a little definition. Typically my favorite crease color or like transition color is Naked from Urban Decay. I just think it's cool but not gray in really any way. It's just a really nice light brown but I'm really feeling this especially for summer since I'm a little bit more tan and you can kind of pull off a more warm bronzy look. I mean I do it all the time anyway but especially in the summertime. So hopefully you can just see that that just looks a lot nicer and just more defined. And you just want to blend that, blend it, blend it, blend it. We are going to take the color Buff, which is like my favorite. I love this. It's a yellow, yellow cream, very matte. Make sure to tap off the excess because it's pretty intense. And it's a little chalky, honestly, but oh well. And we're going to put this all over the lid. Okay, so that is that done. And you can te definitely tell that it has morphed into the crease color. So we're just going to go back in with a tiny bit of that. 
you could probably even just use the brush and not pick up any more product because it probably has some on there. So just like that. And then this is where we are going to jump to the Lorac Pro and we're going to take the color taupe. And I know you're probably thinking, okay, that doesn't look that much different from light brown, but it really is. Um, let's see, how can I show this? So there they are side by side. Um, I think you can see tone wise they're different and taupe is a little bit deeper. So I'm just going to take a smaller brush and just a little bit of that. We don't want too much. And I'm just going to kind of press that in the outer corner and kind of bring it down and just in the outer V. Just to kind of smoke it out a little bit and just make it a little bit deeper. Just blend that all together and then I'm going to go back in with just this big fluffy brush and just blend the edges. But hopefully you can tell it's just super natural but I think it just opens the eyes having that really bright color but then have it a little bit smoked out on the edge. And then I'm going to take my white eyeliner, you know that I love this. Just a little bit though because I don't want it to get super like white. I want to keep it more cream and like warm toned. I think I'm going to take snow and buff and mix it a little bit and put that, <clears throat> excuse me, on the inner corner. And then I'm just going to take whatever is left on the brush and kind of just go around I like the brow just a tiny bit. But so that's it for eyeshadow. I think it's super, super simple as you can see. It's nothing fancy, nothing crazy. And you can always go back in with that buff shade and just kind of go back and touch up if you want. But I like the gradient that it gives. So I'm just going to curl my lashes, do mascara. I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Mango, which I'm really liking at the moment. And I will be back to show you what the eyes look like and then finish up the face. Okay, so this is what the finished eyes look like. And I wanted to keep the eyes or the lashes fairly fluttery. They're not too crazy. And I did add a little bit on the lower lash line because I didn't add anything else. But yeah, so this is what the eyes look like. Nothing too crazy, like I said, but I think it just, I don't know, I just love how natural and simple it looks. The eyes are not too warm, but they're definitely more on the warm side, so that's what I'm going to stick with. But you could definitely do whatever you wanted. And this is almost more of a technique type thing. If you like... Sorry, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh, didn't want to mess up my, my mascara. If you want more of a cool toned eye, you could totally do that and just switch out the shades a little bit. But yes, I'm going to keep the face fairly peachy today. I think I'm going to go with Sugar Bomb, which is all messed up, but it's by Benefit, but it's that one. Wow, what just freaking fell on me? One of my blushes. Wonderful. <laughs> but it's more of a orangey tone. It does have more shimmer than I'm wanting because I do want to keep the shimmer on my highlight, but oh well, we'll deal with it. So I always do this side first. I don't know why the lighting isn't even I can't even see in my mirror on that side I have to look in the viewfinder but I think this is pretty good I have used Coralista I think I used Coralista with the look when I did it the last time and it was nice but I don't know I wanted something a little bit peachier today. If I had a really nice like really orangey toned blush I would probably use that but I don't want the face to get like too crazy right. And most importantly highlight. I'm using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Incandescent Light. It's the center one. I absolutely love this. It is a little bit more pinky and like cool toned so it does kind of alter the blush so I like to go over 
just with the blush brush, no extra product. But I like to get a lot of this on my favorite brush. This is the Morphe M438. And just place that all along the top of the cheekbone. I don't like to come too far in. I know a lot of people do that and something about it just looks so fake and so mm, just I'm not a fan of it. So I like to keep it just above my blush and I like to keep everything fairly far away. I don't bring anything too far in. I have various reasons for that. I think it's lifting and I have a round face so I don't want to round it out even more, but like, can you see that? I love, I love this. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger and do Cupid's bow. I'm gonna do lips, so. I just think it's so gorgeous. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. Like, this is highlight on fleek for sure. And then for lips, I do wanna keep the look fairly orangey, so I'm going to use the Revlon Balm Stain, the orange one in Rendezvous. I haven't used this in so long. You guys know this is like my fave. And I'm just going to use a little bit of this. So summery. Gosh, I forgot how much I love this. See, I do love this look with a really natural lip. But see, the thing with me is that I love the color of my natural lips. So a lot of times I would just rather do nothing than try to put a natural lip on because see even this I'm not really feeling so I'm gonna blot it a little bit and then I'm going to take the steel lip glaze in vanilla which is like super bronzy and crazy and layer So this is going to lighten it up a little bit and just give us some sheen. A little bronze glow for the lips. Kind of strange, right? But cool. So this is the finished look. I love it and like I love that highlight. So yes, this is it. Let's see if I can zoom out a little bit. Yeah. So I hope you all enjoyed this look. Super simple. I think anyone could do it. But yeah, tell me what you all think and tell me if you test it out or if you like shades like this or looks like this. I'm thinking of doing like a beach pool appropriate look. So be on the lookout for that. But yeah, I hope you all are having a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.